Uh, more than 30,000 Muslims from the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in the UK have been meeting this weekend. Um, during it, they're praying for peace. They're committing to uh, countering extremism in all its forms, and they're vowing to defend religious freedoms for all. The gathering is the, o the UK's oldest Muslim convention, uh, Jalsa Salana, and uh, Tariq Sami from Worcestershire is there and joins us now. Tariq, good morning. Good morning, Michael. Uh, can, can you just, first of all, explain a little bit more about um, your faith? Because Ahmadiyya Muslims mm. subscribe to many of the same beliefs as Muslims, but in, in what, uh, as other Muslims, but in what way do you differ? OK. Uh, so the Ahmadiyya Muslims, like all Muslims, um, believe that uh, Muhammad, uh, the Holy Prophet of Islam, peace and blessings of God be upon him, um, bought, bought the faith of Islam and taught us to worship one one God and taught us that prophets come and uh, we follow their teachings for spiritual and moral uplift. The difference, I suppose, the key difference is, is that we also believe that over time the teachings that Muhammad brought, peace and blessings of God be upon him, became obscure. Um, there became a lot of violence which was outside the religion associated with it and a man called Ahmed, a uh, hundred years ago, claimed to be the promised Messiah and claimed to call people back to the original path of Muhammad. Peace and blessings of God be upon him. So that's really the Ahmadiyya Muslim community's key difference, that we also believe in a individual called Ahmed who was calling back to the original teachings of Islam. Uh, so you are, I mean, clearly you are Muslims, but it's a different, um, or if you like, a different sort of denomination. Is that fair to put it that way? Uh, yes, you could say it's a different uh, denomination. Um, we do, uh, I should say, claim um, leadership of the Islamic world in, in so far as we claim that we have the pristine, pure teachings of Islam, and we are busy preaching those pristine, pure teachings of Islam to the other Muslims as well, as well as trying to show non-Muslims that Islam genuinely is a peaceful, loving, uh, spiritually uplifting religion. Right. But, of course, the backdrop, as I mentioned, is events in Syria, Iraq, yeah. uh, closer to home, and we've been talking about this in the last hour of the programme, the scandal in Rotherham. Mm -hmm. uh, how much concern is there at the convention that the Muslim faith is kind of being, being pulled into this and not being seen as a whole mm -hmm. in a very good light by some people? Well, there's deep concern. Um, so we, as a community, think that it is an obligation upon us to propagate the message that Islam is fundamentally peaceful and to counter these narratives. And whether those are religious narratives, as in what's happening in Syria in the name of Islam, or whether that's what's happening in Rotherham, which, which is just pure criminal activity, we really feel that we have to make an effort a, to show Islam in a different light, to show Islam, to reflect the true teachings of Muhammad. So, so over this weekend, then, at, at this convention, as I say, it's the, old, the UK's oldest Muslim convention. Yep. What's actually happening? What's important about it? OK, so there are three days of speeches which remind uh, the believers to, or, or the followers of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community to concentrate on their moral and spiritual states. There's calls for prayers for various global issues. Um, for example, Israel and Palestine was spoken about on Friday, but it was clearly stated that the killing of children in any situation, whether by Israelis or whether by Palestinians, is clearly wrong. Um, there are continual um, prayers in, in the way that Muslims pray five times a day, and there is also a quite active uh, press component as well, where we're trying to engage with wider society. Well, right, well, this is, a, uh, this is, if I may, this is probably the final point I want to ask you about, yeah. but, but should Muslims, should good Muslim people mm -hmm. be coming out far louder against yeah. what is happening and, and, you know, the current difficulties in Syria, in Iraq, uh, in Israel, you know, on the West Bank, in, in Rock, should you be far, far louder saying this is not, as you see it, anything to do with, um, with the Islamic religion? Yes, all Muslims should be louder. We try and be as loud as we possibly can be, right? Uh, we, we punch above our weight on condemning these issues categorically, repeatedly and repetitively, and it's a call really on all Muslims to be loud, condemning 
terrorism, which is absolutely nothing to do with Islam, and which shows the prophet of Islam, Muhammad, peace and blessings of God, in a poor light and far away from his true teachings. Tariq Sami, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Right, thank you. Good Thanks, to talk Michael. to you on Bye. BBC Hereford and Worcester. Uh, Tariq Sami, who's uh, uh, out there at the, uh, well, as I say, is the, the oldest, the UK's oldest uh, Muslim convention, uh, Jalsa Salana, which is happening at the moment. A little bit about the background, which I didn't know there, about the uh, Ahmadiyya Muslim community in the UK. And their call for peace.